let me out of here. I flee the scene of the planetary karma yoga. Oh, my, my pod me. Uh, Shiva, the destroyer of nations, stateless earth man. Ooh, no travel document. Hole in my soul. Yeah. Now I just blew my whole life apart. Jumped into the unknown. Like jumping off an ocean liner in the moonlight. It's going to take me about 50 years to get my trip back together, I reckon. Disoriented. I yearn for spiritual guidance. Well, Ramdas is up in the Himalayas. Time to have a chat with Ramdas. So I fly from Madras to New Delhi. Really happy that 50 years ago you didn't need a passport to get on a domestic airplane. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the next day I take the bus to El Mora, former British colonial hill station in the Himalayas. And from there I take a bus to Kosani, where Ramdas is hanging out in, a, in an old ashram of Mahatma Gandhi. Mm. Namaste, Ramdas. He invites me into his private room, closes the door. We sit on straw mats on the floor. I pour out my story. Mm -hmm. I just renounced the whole nation trip in favor of Earth people first, and I take a lot of LSD, fairly well traveled, read his book, Be Here Now. In Bali, blew, blew everybody away. And that, well, I am greatly disoriented and unsure of myself after that scene at the American Embassy in Madras. I may be going completely mad. Just freaking out of reality altogether. Or I'm having an amazing spiritual breakthrough. Don't know which. Ramdas sees me with deep compassion, but hasn't said a word. <laughs> like he knows that I just need to wrap to myself, my big self, in the calming presence of an true energy mate in that relationship of equality. A free man facing a free man. And I realize that's all what freedom is. One free human facing another with your heart open all the way. Mm -hmm. An honest gaze into another soul's eyes. Ramdas whispers, you are a beautiful cat. He says, as far as my earth people trip goes, well, I'll have many encounters, but if my karma is pure, my vision, based on reality, is unstoppable. Wow. Then Ram Dass speaks <laughs> about his beloved guru, Neem Karoli Baba, nearby. He says that his guru just makes hints, like Neem Karoli Baba asks Ram Dass, Have you ever had chai with the President of the United States? Ram Dass flashes me a big spot, smile. You know, Earthman. I'm thinking about building a yogi shack on the White House lawn. Mmm! Some deep, old, frustrated force shifts into harmony within me. Yeah, I needed that to face someone I 
Shirley Respect, who comes off as like more out there than me. Ramdas says, look, take an apple to my guru. Mm -hmm. And spontaneously, uh, we both rise. And... Namaste. Wow. Well, the following morning, I traveled by bus to the temple of Neem Karoli Baba with a big, red, juicy Himalayan apple. <laughs> Uh, I'm immediately served prasad, which is uh, the gift of food from a holy person. And, uh, well, there he is. He sits on kind of a platform and wears a, a common Indian blanket around him for clothes. I like his earthy style. Mm. Put the apple on his carpeted platform causes him to smile towards me and sh shakti bad feel his blessing mm -hmm. I may be a dreamer so ahead of the times that the nations shall mm, break me just scrape me off into a nameless jail, an unknown land. But our new age demands frontierless chess moves to nourish the coming of us earth people whose spirits have journeyed worlds beyond the meager scraps of freedom that contemporary nations allow Wow. 